The international conference organized by the Bank of Latvia brought together economic policy shapers, market players and scientists to discuss several countries' experience of overcoming the crisis. The first part of the conference, titled Economic Adjustment Under Sovereign Debt Crisis, Can Experience of the Baltics Be Applied to Others, dealt with policy responses to the global economic crisis. Latvia introduced their own experience in the way how we overtake crisis and that was really successful because now we are already bearing fruit that we are fastest growing EU economy. Uh, Eurozone representative Mr. Likinen provided his insights how uh, official institutions are planning to, 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 to overcome the crisis and they, they, they propose to have better rules, better regulation, better implementation and uh, by time it should bear fruit and it could be enough for the markets. From the private sector perspective, Mr. Borsenborg, he told that uh, he would like to see more. He would not like to have just monetary expansion, but also uh, having the same uh, attitude as Latvians did. Uh, that was not expressed by his words, but he, he told that uh, monetary expansion is not enough. It needs to be addressed by the structural reforms and maybe it's still doubtful whether uh, monetary union can work without fiscal union. During the other part of the conference, cross-country differences in times of crisis, one-size-fits-all versus tailored approach, scientists analyzed and evaluated the experience of Ireland, Spain, Estonia and Latvia. The goal of the panel discussion was to determine if Latvia's experience of overcoming the crisis could be applied to other countries too. We had suggestions, for instance, from our colleague from Estonia, speaking about that one thing that Latvia and Estonia have in common, that is the commitment this year that going into the Eurozone is sort of a goal that is lying out there in the future that has helped to sort of, shall we say, be a goal for these reforms, to sort of be behind the reforms to be done. But Spain and Italy are already in the Eurozone. They cannot set themselves a similar goal. And another issue there could be flexibility, flexibility of labor markets and of wages, which has certainly been very, very big in both Estonia and in Latvia. But in the southern countries, it is just not the same. So most likely there the lessons are from Latvia and Estonia that there are not so many lessons that they can actually adapt in the southern countries. Whatever they want to do will most likely have to be different. Conference participants agreed that there was no universal solution for eliminating the consequences of the crisis that could be equally successfully applied in all countries.